deepfakes have started to appear everywhere. From viral celebrity face swaps to impersonations of political leaders, it can be hard to spot the difference now between real and fake. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. And the digital impressions are starting to have real financial repercussions. In the US, an audio deepfake of a CEO reportedly scammed one company out of $10 million. In the UK, an energy firm was tricked into a fraudulent transfer of 220,000 euros. Welcome back to another Cyber Awareness Moment. Today, we're going to be talking about deep fakes. Ernesto, I'm excited about this series. It's going to actually be a series of videos that we're going to do to take the business owners and the individuals on a journey as, so they can explore what is deep fake, how is it impacting us in our personal lives, and most importantly, how can a company prevent it from devastating them? So it's a complete series. So if you are watching this video right now, make sure to watch the other videos, which are going to be appearing just up here. Also, make sure if you are finding a lot of value on this content, make sure to subscribe, to give us a like, and even better, to give us some comments, because every comment or every like actually helps us in getting this message across. So, Frank, what is exactly a deepfake? It's a, it's a combination of machine learning and artificial intelligence to create synthetic media. In other words, what they're trying to do, Ernesto, is they're trying to impersonate somebody by creating audio, video, uh, a lot of video messaging is going out there now, and, and they're actually taking images of individuals and putting them in compromising situations that they normally wouldn't be in or wouldn't say or wouldn't do, and it's through synthetic media. This is just becoming so big. Right now, you can see news about deepfake everywhere in the news. Let's just have a look at this clip. De 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 democracy is easy. It's like stealing ice cream from a baby. I genuinely love the process of manipulating people online for money. We just want to predict your future behaviors. The generating data is the only These videos are all deep fakes. Synthesized content created using artificial intelligence. Fake, fake, disgusting news. Deep fakes will make for even more complicated arguments about what is fake news and what is real. And if seeing is no longer believing, the very real question is. Could deep fakes weaken democracy? Democracy just doesn't work if people don't believe in it. So there you go. Uh, that's a great video. It gives you a general overview of exactly what deep fake is. So Frank, how could a company be affected by deep fakes? There's a multitude of ways that they can be uh, impacted, uh, Ernesto. Uh, it can be corporate brand that somebody's built for 40, 50, 60, 80 years. It could be a brand new competitor coming into the marketplace that wants to put somebody else out. So they use the, the cover of darkness and clandestine of the keyboard to create deep fake in, a, in another country and it perpetrated against the competitor. It could be used to manipulate stock value. It can be used to manipulate an executive in a company where they'll actually send maybe a video message on a Friday afternoon to somebody in the accounting office stating to pay this invoice or, or to order this, this uh, merger to go through. There's a multitude of ways that businesses can be crushed, large and small. Everyone is uh, completely ignorant about what deep fakes are. I mean, even the big corporations, even the government do not really know how to react to this. So how can you help uh, the organizations or companies or individuals uh, prepare themselves to what the world is going to be now that deep fake is actually taking over? Well, it actually, you know, what we do is we offer to companies uh, tutorial systems that will enlighten them to all of the cyber threats, all of the impersonation, all of the threats, whether it's coming from a competitor or it's coming from somebody that wants to launch a ransomware attack. Uh, a lot of companies, Ernesto, 
they spend an incredible amount of money on their firewalls, their hardware, and their software departments, but they miss the mark. It's the frontline employees that are clicking on the wrong link and opening the wrong email and falling for the wrong deep fake. And therein lies the major problem that they have to increase the cyber awareness of the frontline staff. There you go. So now you know that there's a free training that could be provided to your staff at no cost so that they are protected against whatever is going to happen with this deep fake world. So please make sure to contact Frank or myself at the telephone, which is just appearing right now on the screen. And yep. please make sure to watch the next video, which is just appearing right now on the screen so that you continue watching the series. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. 